Bleach is back everybody, you already know what time it is, Core 3 Episode 1. You guys know I've already seen the episodes because I went to the pre-screening, so it's not so much as a live reaction but a re-watch because there's a lot of stuff that I'm hyped to see again and maybe some things that I may have missed the first time. So I want to get into this episode one, Thousand Year Blood War, right, Core 3, shit is going down. If you haven't checked the opening reaction, go check that out now. And of course, hit that like and that subscribe if you want to see more reactions and reviews going on in the future too. So with that being said, let's get into it, shall we? We'll show you the power of the Zero Division. <clears throat> and of course, uh, this is going to be the Blu ray version, so obviously, uh, things are going to be touched up a little bit. Not things that you'd notice all too much, but yeah. Uh, honestly, just going to not really talk much about the recap. The recap does go on for about seven ish minutes. If I remember correctly, there was little additions, so I I'll probably note them down but do you know what there's nothing more nicer than seeing the bankai yet again because it is quite magnificent some might say now i think that was one of them right this is one of the reactions it's her bankai yeah you know what she doesn't really seem phased by it even from the captain's bankai i've never felt anything like this before these people from the zero division yeah I, I, I suppose people like yellow witch or ichigo aren't really i'm really phased but yeah, this is kind of a new new addition to that recap, I suppose, say, I suppose you could say. Orihime, you're so adorable that you believe that the Quincy's are going to lose to something like this. Which, to be honest, they probably were, but even Ichigo has a bit of doubt here. I love I love Asken's voice actor. Wait, wait. Like, you can actually, s like, hear the, uh, the, hey, what's going on? Like, I'm generally scared here. Panaida's just absolutely finished bro because he, he he does not have enough nerves to to grab all those pieces of sand that's for sure guy is donezo he's trying i don't know why you're trying fam but all to you and the only way you're going to stop gerard is if you just completely stop him in his tracks right so this this makes sense everything about senjimaru's bankai makes sense for like a perfect counter for them right and i guess for harsh world like you can't really balance flames so it's very like an unstable element so i would imagine that like that's why hushwell wasn't able to to turn the tide on that so that kind of makes sense i think and then with uriu i was always very confused about uriu so hopefully we get a little bit more context in regards to what this was about <laughs> i love the ost man sagasu always slaps man Right, so then we should be going on to Ichibe and Yuha now for the for the recap. It seems a little bit more fast paced actually. I felt like that scene was dragged out a little bit more. Yeah, be careful with your words Ichibe, you don't want to actually give him his name back again. How about I give you a new name? And there's the Blu-ray change right there. And it's funny because to me, when I was watching this in the pre-screening, you noticed the difference in quality for Core 2 going into Core 3. And I wonder if, if you guys will notice it too. I guess the mausoleum, right? I think that that's the first like major point. And this is where the flashback or Core 2 ends. So now we get into new content, finally. Let's get into it, shall we? And you should finish with a title card. Not a title card, but a transition uh, card. And this is why I thought it was half the episode because of this. But it's only actually like less than 10 minutes. Including the opening. So, But you can see why I would say that. So here we go. And the eyes are here. And this is where, this is where it confused. Because the moment his eyes awakened, then something happened with the Bankai Senjimaru. So I was wondering if that had a correlation or there it is. There's that, that flash I was talking about. The nine years of Regani shown for now complete. At that specific moment. There it is. Boom! And you saw that in the PV too. I love that. I love that transition. And then this happens. So Uryu escapes. I want to get context on this. But he did use his antithesis by this. Wait, did the King's Awakening gain power? Okay. Did he? Did he? Oh, so your eyelids to give her. God damn. She's, she's kind of brutal. Lovely choreography here. I love this, uh, this scene. Especially when the hollows just start dropping on him. 
damn. Uh, yeah, and he uses blue vein to like stuff like debris from hitting his skin and shit too. She's so unfazed, I love it. Is that ice? No, 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 executable. God damn. damn. That sounded. Yeah, I love this. All the hollows drop in, and then they like. He gets stuck. Oh, they're coming out. Yeah, they're coming out the, the holes. That's cool. So she can just spawn hollows. This is something I'm interested in. In like what this is. Wish that was me. Not not the next part, but I wish this was me. Yeah, not this part. You might have avoided this death. True. I have a reason to fight. What's that reason? Ew. But but what did it do? What what was the point of that? Everything that is black belongs to me. Is this the mausoleum? Ah, the mausoleum. Yes. And here's that like singing and dancing I told you guys about in the video. Just materializing bowls from blackness. If you drink it. Your life will fly away and the path to hell. So, I mean, you're saying hell in these chants, so obviously, like, Ichibei must know about hell, right? Let me paint them peach black. Put them into eight and cook them well atop a flame of black. And that is left to do what is crazy. It's an interesting song in terms of the lyrics. People are going to absolutely break this down for sure. But here we go. Will it do anything? It's beautiful though. It looks so cool. Yeah, that's some cool CG, man. Where even reincarnate? So he is aware of reincarnation too. Oh, and you have finished his sentence. I can see everything. There's no room for understanding or countermeasures before my power. Yeah, he has the Almighty, man. He knows how to get out of this situation. And he got shook. I'm the one who will steal everything from you. Yeah, oh, that was done. So much cooler than in the manga. Absolutely. So what's going on here? This is the power of the Stern Ritter. So are they wings? I guess they're wings then, yeah. So I was I thought it was Rieishi leaking out of the hole that Senjimaru had done. So what was the point of the hole in the neck? Yeah, the antithesis. Damn. Damn. Man really pulled the Uno reverse card, that's crazy. And everybody felt that. But why is he struggling? Interesting. Maybe he doesn't know how to control it yet? I foresaw your death just three steps ahead. Damn, the disrespect, man. A lot of camera angles I'm seeing being used. I'm stealing the, 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 the Reishi to make some stairs. Yep. I mean... It's all over now, fellas. God, I love seeing this again. This was so cool to see. Just the music, the surround sound. And he's reached the palace. He's here. Big Bollocks is here. In front of the Soul King. Damn. It really starts off the arc with such disparity. And here's the ending. Okay. I've grown to like the ending. It's a bunch of PNGs, but I actually like it a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, where's Nemo? Sheesh! Mayuri looking slick. Biakia. Kampachi. These are so. Ruki looks nice there too. The artwork is on point. 
Show me the Orihime. There was no Ruruka though, and I'm really sad about that. The effects are really nice too, man. I was holding the arrow like in the flashback, right? Sheesh, Orihime! Woo! Hey, Uke, talk. If they don't do something with this man, Aizen. Like, come on, do something with Ukitake, man. Bambi is Bambi, yet my queen. Candice, my queen. And Latoto, my queen. Meninas, eh, not, eh. Like, I like the voice actor. I really like the voice actor. And Giselle. Come on. Let's. Okay, I actually. I've grown to like it. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, 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 that's right. Well, I mean, I, this was what was shown straight away, so. Uh, I didn't know this was post credits at the time. Could Orihime have healed him? Your name is? Ichibe. Ichibe. Yeah. So his body's made out of black ink. I guess. That was close. I guess he was on a timer, right? All powers concentrated by calling my name, I received a bit of my power and healed my body. Okay. Yeah, that's what people said in the manga chapter reviewing community at the time too. With the power I wield, it's only natural. I guess. So I've regained my body. There is no time to wait for my strength to recover. Oh, so he would have. If he had the strength to, he would have. Then why did it... I was surprised he didn't join the battle then, like, towards the end. That's kind of big for, like, the main Donny that's protecting the Soul King to ask someone like Ichigo to to help. And uh, here we go. Come on. What are we cooking, Shunsui? Who's that? Who's that? Is that the goat? The nod. I love... I love... <laughs> so subtle. I love it. Oh, no. This is... This is... This is the switch. Here we go. It's over. Boom! It's Donzo. And just like that, the world changes. It sucks so much, man, because... <sighs> Who's this? Oh, that's Young Yuha. Okay, contextually, it makes sense. Because the next episode. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, cool. So, basically, a great start to, to the core. It's a shame about the, the flashback, well, not the flashback, but the recap, because it made the episode feel really, really uh, short. But I feel like it was a great way to just bring us back. Even though if it wasn't maybe intended, and maybe some of the stuff was intended for core too, it was a good way to bring us back, bring us up to date of where we were, and uh, just... Yuha is is in charge and it sets the tone of like yeah this is an arc where maybe the good guys don't win you know and it's as good as the last time in terms of subtitles uh the, when i watched it without i kind of got the gist of what was going on because i guess the manga too but nothing too out the ordinary i mean they they added extra parts within the the recap which was nice and they really i think did a really good job in increasing the fear factor within yuha and ichibase's fights because that seemed to be very abrupt the mausoleum was fantastic and I think Ichibei did did the best he could, but it wasn't enough, was it? It wasn't enough, was it, Osho? Um, but, you know, when he says something like, oh, I need to regain my strength so I can't really join you, I hope Kubo or the anime team really kind of show what Osho does in the background, maybe, because I can't imagine him just sitting there watching while everything around him has essentially changed. So that's a bit of, like, a, of a head-scratcher. But regardless of what great episode, I mean, it follows the manga... It sets the tone, and that last scene where he stabs the Soul King and everything turns to red. Yeah, it's set. I always said this This episode sets things up nicely. Next episode is going to be fun. However, I may be late to the live reactions or reviews because I'm changing location and my PC will be shipped. So depending on when I get my PC again is when I'll get back onto the videos. But for now, tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below of what you think of this episode. Was you happy? Was you neutral? Was you displeased? And to be honest, as someone that's watched it a few times, I would say, yeah, the recap kind of makes it short. But, again, it did a good job at setting the tone. So, with that being said, I'm going to catch you up because you guys, of course, have this Friday been handsome as always, people. Peace out.